With an hour-by-hour -hour forecast, Channel 4 is the weather authority. So once again, you're looking at Live 5 Doppler radars, something we're all going to get comfortable with because there will be a lot more action, not just these little passing downpours, which are catching everybody off guard because they don't have the lightning, they don't have the thunder, you don't see them coming, and all of a sudden, bam, it's just a down. I mean, it's a heavy torrential rain tropical rain and that's what's going to be with us here the next couple of days more showers of building coastal water see this little gray patch small craft advisory there see all these various colors here these are watches various types but the important one is this red area right in through here that's where hurricane watch is in effect and again even though we have tropical storm watches on either side understand they these watches will be at some point upgraded to warnings remember watch means hey Watch your step. But warning means, hey, don't take that step because there is the potential of, you know, perilous things happening. So tonight, watching the Gulf Coast, that's where the trouble is, and also seeing some very heavy rains down south. This is the latest from the Hurricane Center, 5 o'clock position, 5 o'clock track. Right now, it appears that it'll be somewhere around midnight, say 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., getting as close as it'll ever get to Jacksonville. Thursday night, Friday morning. So you say to yourself, oh, good, it'll be all done by Friday. Ah, uh, not so fast. Here's what's going to happen. Check out the rainfall totals. Nope, not much rain, not much rain. And then all of a sudden, after about midnight, all the way through early Friday morning, the rains, which maybe only add up between now and tomorrow evening, an inch, all of a sudden accelerate. So we pick up two, three, four inches of rain. And some of you guys are going to pick up more. So it's a great time just to clear out whatever, you know, you got storm drains in your back, you know, in your neighborhood uh, or even in your backyard. Make sure they're all cleaned out so we don't have any debris. It's been a while since we've had big rains. So there's a potential here for a lot of debris to block things and cause flooding. So just be aware of your own surroundings. But what about wind? Now, this is 8 a.m. Friday. The low pressure will be somewhere here, maybe a little bit further back out here towards Valdosta. But the purple here represents where we can find wind gusts not sustained, but gust of wind could be up around 40, 45 miles an hour. And this is outside the potential of severe weather, tornadoes. So once again, it's a late night evening for all of us here at Channel 4 and for folks at home, because we're talking about all the way through the early afternoon hours on Friday. This is where the low pressure may be. And look at a wind gust. That looks a little high out there along the Georgia coastline. But even during the day on Friday, we have that potential. So putting it all together, it's still a depression and it's still very weak. But the greatest impact, probably Tallahassee, Jacksonville, expectations late Thursday, early Friday. Worst case scenarios would include some power outages and some minor flooding, like I mentioned. Look at today's high temperature. Look at downtown. This is that passing tropical rain shower action. This is live, by the way. Today's high temperature held down by the clouds and rain showers, 88 degrees. Look at te current temperatures and look at the winds out there at Jack's Beach up to 20 miles an hour. Passing showers, this is your forecast for tonight. Same old, same old. Keep the umbrella with you. All oh, we're at, whatever you're going to be doing, not just tonight, tomorrow, but up until probably Saturday. Over the next couple of days, the winds will shift around and become more southeasterly. That'll just add to some of the heavier downpours, and that goes all the way through tomorrow evening. Beach forecast, that's the beach cam. That's pretty ugly. This is that nor'easter kind of condition. Tides are coming up because of the onshore northeasterly winds, and they will be with us right on through tomorrow and Friday, Thursday, shifting by the time we get to Friday afternoon. Just be careful. Rip current risk, very high right now. You don't want to go in there unless you're a well-experienced surfer. Passing showers and breezy tonight, 75. Tomorrow, much more of what we saw today, but not worse. Again, not worse tomorrow. Tomorrow's just kind of another day. Make it another six on the gone gauge. Tropical sunshine and tropical showers. And finally, here's your seven-day forecast. Biggest two days, Thursday, Friday, weather authority alert days. Then Saturday, Sunday mornings, we actually cool in the 60s. Could be a dynamite weekend.